Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review of Lotta Body's new Milk and Honey collection. They have a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, mousse, and edge control. I didn't use their shampoo because I like to use Sels and Blue most of the time, but I did use their leave-in conditioner and I've already detangled my hair and put it into chunky twists. I say this all the time, but I'm a sections girl. I love working in sections because it makes everything so much easier, keeps my hair from getting detangled while I'm styling. So right now I just put my hair up and I am splitting this first twist in half. Then I'm using my Denman brush to make sure that it's completely detangled and I am gonna apply their curl defining mousse to my hair. This is my very first time doing a mousse only perm rod set so I am really nervous about what the results will look like. I usually use one of their moisturizers like their Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk and then I'll use their foaming mousse over top but I am just trying something a little bit different today just to see if a foam only rod set will hold up. I'm not gonna keep you holding on what my opinion is. My recommendation is definitely that you use some sort of moisturizer first and then applying the mousse afterwards for better hold and better moisture. Am I saying that I didn't like the foam only results? No, but I just like my hair to be moisturized and I have something against dry hair. Um, and it's not that my hair was super duper duper dry, um, but it could have been a lot more moisturized. Regardless, like I said, the results still did come out really nice. Just keep watching so that you can see how I styled and what the end result looked like. When I do my rod sets, I make sure that I don't grab pieces that are way too big because if the pieces are way too big, then it's a lot harder to get it onto the rod. Not only that, drying time takes a whole lot longer. So the smaller the pieces, honestly, the better. I'm gonna turn a little bit more to the side so that you can get a better view of how I do my perm rods, but I literally just coil the hair down the rod. I keep the hair close together since my hair is a little bit long just to make sure that it all fits on the rod. And when I get to the ends, I use my brush or sometimes I just use my fingers to make sure that it's completely detangled because that is a really important part in getting a successful rod set, the ends making sure that your ends are completely smooth and detangled and that it just lays flat on the rod will ensure that you get much better results. A tip that I wanna share with you is if you are planning on doing a mousse only perm rod set, make sure that you apply enough mousse to your hair because usually when I apply the moisturizer first, it's a lot easier to get the hair to lay down on the rod and with mousse only, you definitely wanna make sure that you're using enough mousse. Okay, so I'm done installing the rods. I don't know how many I used. I'm just gonna guess that maybe I used 30, I'm not sure. But as you can see, the hair is really neat on the rod. And just keep in mind that basically whatever your hair looks like on the rod, that's how it's gonna look like when you take it down. So if it looks sloppy on the rod, just go ahead and start over, redo that piece to make sure that you're getting good results. As far as how I got my hair to dry, I did sit under the dryer for a little bit first and then I let it air dry throughout the night because I absolutely hate sitting under the dryer way too long. So I just had to have an uncomfortable sleep. Now, usually when I'm taking down my rods, I am super duper nervous because it's nine times out of 10 never dry and I have to sit back under the dryer for a little bit. But that is one of the benefits to using just mousse for your rod sets. It definitely dries a lot faster than it does when you do a moisturizer and then the mousse. So that is a upside to using mousse only. To take the rods down, I am just twirling them in the opposite direction of which I put them in. And as you can see, the hair is nice, it is bouncy, it looks really shiny, um, and that didn't last. The curls lasted, but as far as like the shine, it didn't last as long as it would as if I were to use a moisturizer. But like I said, the results are still super duper cute. And I wanna show you something else that I do. Because you take it down in the opposite direction, the roots is normally twisted in a weird way. So I just use my finger and I put the curl back in the same direction as it was when I first put the rod in. And I'm gonna take down the rod next to it just so you can see exactly what I mean by the root is just twisted in the opposite direction. This is definitely a personal preference, but you can see exactly what I mean here. You can see that the curl closer to the front is crooked and kind of like, 
I don't know, just off to the side compared to the other one that I've already put back in the original shape. If you ever get nervous about doing a perm rod set because you just don't know which direction to coil the rod in or how, which direction to take it down in or even if you want to do what I'm doing and just kind of twist your curl back in the original state, I promise you if you try to do it the wrong way you'll automatically tell and then you'll just flip it back to the other side. So don't be intimidated by that. So now I am done getting my curls in the direction that I want them to be in. And as you can see, it is so bouncy, just so springy, it is shiny. I can tell that it is not as moisturized as usual, even though to you it may look like it is super moisturized. I do perm rod sets a lot, so I know. Um, but again, like I said, it's not a bad product. It is just all about preference and I prefer moisturized hair because that dry hair is not the business at all. Now I am taking the time to separate my hair. Usually I separate a whole lot. Like I don't just do like separating in two or three or four. Like sometimes I separate each section into, I don't know, maybe 12, 10, I don't know, but I separate a lot only because I like bigger hair and I just hate for my hair to look flat. And I feel like when you do something like perm rod sets, there's a fine line between it being really cute and looking like a grandma. So for me, separating more is just better. Before I forget to mention this, I wanna mention two things. This video is not sponsored by a lot of bodies, so yeah, they're not associated with this video in any way. And I also wanted to say that these products are really, really, really cheap. If you ever wanna do a rod set, they're really affordable. After I separate my hair, I like to fluff it. I could not find my wide tooth comb or my pig anywhere. So I got really desperate and I started using this rat tail comb and honey, I don't know what I was thinking, I just stopped. Like I knew it was dumb from the moment I picked up that rat tail comb. So I don't even know why I did that. I just started using my hands instead and it actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to just fluff my hair with my hands until I like how fluffed it is. Now I'm not really gonna use the edge control like that. I just wanted to feel what kind of hold it had to see if it had a stronger hold than their other edge controls. And I feel like it's really similar. It's just like a medium hold. Um, if you want your hair to like slick, slick down and be laid to the gods, this ain't it. This is just a medium, honestly, maybe even a soft to medium hold, but I'm okay with that because having my edges slick down all the time just isn't something that I prefer. Look, I literally used it on this one tiny spot just to see what it looked like. And like I said, it's medium. Anyway, that is all there is to it. I am done. I didn't tell you in the beginning, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, and follow me on Instagram at NaturallyNella, and I'll see y'all next time.